Cyrus, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm fantastic. Cyrus Schwartz is the owner of Doors Naturals. Doors Naturals, for those who don't know, I don't know how many people don't know what you guys are, but how about uh, giving us a little, uh, little, little taste little of one who you one are? On Doris? Sure. So, yeah, sure. So, Doors is a natural food and beverage distributor based in Metro New York. Uh, and we do dairy case products, uh, snacks, uh, perishable beverages, shelf sale beverages. But really, where we shine is in perishable beverages. Um, I think we're the largest independent perishable beverage distributor in the country by far. And uh, we're also somewhat of a, a, a brand incubator, brand accelerator. 20% or so of the products we work with are come to us uh, from dollar one or pre-revenue. So yep. it's an entrepreneur, an idea. Uh, I personally get involved with some investments, sit on a few boards, own a few of our own brands. We're in the manufacturing business as well. We're just opening another manufacturing plant, an HVP and juice pressing plant. So we got our fingers in a lot of areas and um, enjoying the growth of uh, alternative beverages and foods. So it sounds like you have a pretty much a, like a nine to five job when you take off Fridays, right? <laughs> is, that what, is that what it sounds like? No, no. As uh, I got Chris Pashuk here as our VP of Business Development. By the way, newly single ladies. So <laughs> uh, that's, that's the first time <laughs> I think we've ever had that. This is the first for the live stream. Where you know, I'm a little bit of a wild card. Yeah, I like that. So, um, <laughs> no, I am. Um, I'm a busy boy, but I try to stay focused. So we've been asked uh, regularly, uh, would we expand outside of Metro New York? Because, right. you know, there aren't many perishable beverage distributors of size outside of Metro New York, and certainly not doing what we do in terms of dairy case, shelf stable, perishable. And we look seriously at doing that, but uh, we we're going to about to pull the trigger uh, on a move to New England, but decided, you know, it wasn't going to give us more influence in what in the beverage, you know, space. Right. Uh, it and it wasn't terribly. It was a lot of work for uh, the profit potential. So we've decided just to kind of double down in our market and get deeper in our market rather than uh, go geographically wider. You mentioned influence, and Doors has been a very influential uh, distribution partner for some emerging brands, many of which we've uh, heard of here at Bevnet Live and beyond. Um, I'm curious uh, to hear about some of the brands in your portfolio that are currently uh, on fire and why they're doing so well. Right. Obviously, uh, you know, it's what's become our number one brand is GT Kombucha. So uh, GT is a good buddy and um, the brand is certainly on fire and is now really expanding uh, into kefirs and coconut kefir, veggie kefirs, all manners of probiotic, tonics. Uh, Matcha Bar is a company that came to us pre-revenue and tested in New York, is now launching, just rolled out Whole Foods nationally. We're seeing nice growth. Matcha Bar, they're a maker of RTD beverages and RTD R energy drinks made with matcha, right? Yes, that's yes. right. RTD, uh, basically RTD iced teas made with matcha. Right. Uh, Suniva is another brand I could think of. Um, Suniva so Super Coffee. Super Coffee with yep. MCTs and protein. Uh, started by three young college or ex-college athletes, the yeah. DeSico boys, small, medium, small, medium, and large is what we call them, how we refer to them. We recently had those guys featured on uh, an episode of Taste Radio, our podcast. Uh, you should definitely check it out, folks, if you haven't already. They right. talk a lot about their experience on Shark Tank, which was kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they're uh, aggressive and growing nicely. Uh, I love the vegan space, so all things uh, plant-based. We're having great growth with Forager. Right. I mean, you know, I think as is the case uh, with certainly startups uh, and early stage brands, uh, they, their projections are rarely met, right? Right. Forager is one of those few cases that when they gave us projections on the business they were moving over to us, uh, they were low and we've more than doubled it. So wow. they're they're really doing well, kind of like you know, firing on all cylinders. Um, Remedy Organics, which uh, were last year was a, I think in they your were a finalist, finalist in the New River right? Showdown, yeah. Um, so I, you know, without any support, they launched. Uh, that's a fresh vegan protein line, and I think it just hit a nerve, and it's it really tastes good. 
and it delivers and it's it's doing great. Yes. Really nice velocities. Well, they have that whole food as medicine sort yeah, of uh, yeah, message. Yeah. 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 So I'm um, also, I mean, like, um, I, I can't recall, I believe Remedy Organics is HPP. Uh, is it, it not? It is. Yes. It is. And I'm actually... HPP by a, a really a superior HPP processor, Doris Naturals. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm curious about that because, you know, we had seen a few years ago just everyone diving into the HPP space, trying to find ways to use it as a safety step, as a replacement for pasteurization, heat-based pasteurization. Um, have you seen... Uh, continued growth has been a slowdown. What challenges do you see in HPP? Look, uh, I think there's, at least in my marketplace, there's overcapacity, right? A lot of processors got overexcited or people who are maybe in, in different businesses and thought they could throw an HPP processor or two or three or four into their facilities. Right. And I think there's some overcapacity. But um, where we saw a slowdown right, in HVP was really in the fresh press choose category. And it right. wasn't because, it's not a slowdown in HVP, but it's a slowdown in that category. That category exploded on the heels of juice cleanses and it's kind right. of slowed down. Prices have come down. Unit sales are probably somewhat stagnant. But HVP as, as a safety step, as an alternative to, um, for deli meats and hummus, for, for, as an alternative to preservatives, um, is just growing and it's going to grow. It's there'll there'll be no deli meat in America that has preservatives eventually because it doesn't taste as good and it gives it's a crummy you know it's a crummy ingredient. Right. So eventually every hummus, every deli meat uh, will be HEP. In addition to all the sliced meats that you have when you go into a you know a, a fast food. You know, uh, a restaurant mm -hmm. will be HVP as a secondary step after cooking for safety. Yep. So, you know, like how many recalls of Sovereign need before they HVP everything? Right. So I'm a big believer, uh, but we're doing it rationally, you know. And the way we have our, our facility is the closest facility to New York City, the biggest city in the country. And right. we're food manufacturers, so we're coming at it from a, you know, in a very deliberate way. We're not adding a ton of capacity, but mm -hmm. doing it, you know, in a, in a measured ma manner. So we got about a minute left, and I do want to ask about um, some of the emerging ingredients uh, that we're seeing, including some of the ones that we saw this morning, things like cascara, things like CBD. What are you most interested in when it comes to emerging ingredients and how they're being formulated into uh, innovative beverage brands? So look, I, I, <laughs> I want to know that an ingredient's for real, yep. right? Like so. Sometimes brands, I think, can pull one over on consumers. Uh, if, I, if we're going to launch a, with a CBD brand, I want to know there's efficacy in that CBD. Sure. You know, and, and I think the, the jury's out on how much efficacy there is in CBD derived from hemp versus cannabis. And obviously in New York, we can't do it from cannabis. So I want to see a legitimate product that delivers. Yeah. What do you think yeah. of Cascara? Can we get just a 10 10 second yeah, left? Yeah, I'm... I, I don't know that I see a lot there. Okay, you know? interesting. I don't know. And, and shout out to Zachary Schwartz, my son, who's <laughs> watching as well. <laughs> All right, great shout out, great conversation. Cyrus, thanks so much for being with us. Pleasure. Come see us again really soon. Thanks Please. a lot. Thank you very much. Bye -bye.